Our first guest and I have history. Four years ago, we had an epic showdown on Watch What Happens Live, and we haven't been in the same room since. Take a look at her on this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sheree was saying you were talking about me borrowing a car from somebody, which was Lisa true. Ray's Range Rover. I have never, I don't even know Lisa Ray's Range Oh, okay, well see, that's Lisa just what the streets say. You all okay. can use Rolls Royce, oh, that's a fact. that's a lie. I bought it off the lot, brand okay. new. Okay, You say I bought a used Rolls Royce? That's what I was told. Oh, well, you're, the baby, same way you were you told that white car was not mine. Well, you, well, you definitely And something about correct. Lisa Ray, which is no. crazy. Okay, well, like, I don't even, I don't even know Lisa Ray like that. Okay, you look Thank so you. fabulous. Thank Thank you, and it's not the yeah, archive. No, it's so not. It's inspired so Chanel, right? No, it's not, bitch. I will give you the receipt. Please welcome V. Kenya Moore. That's an outfit. <laughs> Thank you. A Sh little Fendachi. That's a little, little that's, that, that's that Dachi. That's a Fendachi, right? Fendachi, yes. Now, shoe cam, break it oh. down, top to bottom. Yes. Well, yes. Well, what are these? Is this Fendachi too? Same, yes, same. And no ash, no ash. Yes. <laughs> Kenya, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for much ha for having me. Yes. Now, now I'll, I'll explain. Uh, we had we had a, I feel like it was a misunderstanding that took on a life of its own, on the Real House. Uh, Watch what happens live. Oh, you mean when I read you for Phil? Yes, you read me for Phil. Okay. <laughs> and I was. Well, I'm glad to see you kept the cable on. <laughs> yeah. The cable has been on. And I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're doing good. Thank um, you. For those of you who don't know, like uh, Kenya read me for filth. Um, <laughs> she said something about me being fat, old, and white. And then I said something about you having ashy feet. Where, and, and then, it, then it, it, took, it took on a crazy life of its own. Anyway, yes. well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad yes. we moved on. I'm, I'm happy yes. for you. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy for your gorgeous daughter, Brooklyn, who's Thank ridiculously you. cute. Thank you. Happy belated Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you. It was a great Mother's Day. Was yeah. it a good Mother's Day? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. Why say somewhat? It, it's challenging when they're, because they don't really, they're not, it, it's Mother's Day for you, but it's still like I'm a three-year-old. Yeah, like it's family stuff. You know, I wasn't invited to my grandmother's celebration because my mom was there and it was at her house. The one that I went to on the show. Yes. So that was a little sour no, but you know what? I have Brooklyn, and that is the light <laughs> of my life. She's and the gorgeous. love of my life. H has it has it changed you? Like, how has it changed? Of course it's changed you being being a mom. Well, I'm here. I think that says a lot. You right. know, I think that it's made me softer, more empathetic. Just I'm just so proud to be her mom. And right. I want her to know that everything I do is for her, and I'm a living example of what she should grow to be. Absolutely. And be better, actually. Absolutely. Yes. Now let's chat, uh, let's discuss the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is I'm so happy you guys are back yes. every Sunday. Yeah. That. Like you said, you're a little softer this year, but you still are the shade queen of all <laughs> Real Housewives of every city. Are you happy uh, this season so far? Now I don't know what's in store. Are you happy not being the quote unquote villain thus far? You know what, I just needed time off. I had to wear a back brace from carrying other seasons, you know. I just, I just needed a break. <laughs> do, you feel like, do you feel like you have to carry seasons? Are you, you aware know, of that? It feels that like... way sometimes. I mean, everyone should come to work and to really give of themselves and to be transparent, to share their lives. And that hasn't happened every time. So, you know, sometimes I feel like, okay, let's, let's, let's know that we're here to give everyone a great show and to welcome them into our lives. Do you, sometimes do you, it just doesn't happen. Can you tell when you feel like somebody's not participating or giving? Oh, of course, yes, of course. Or making things up and yeah, yeah, you can tell. Okay, now Marlo, who was here, uh, she says, she, she finally got her peach. <laughs> yes. Finally got her peach. She <laughs> says that you, the Kenya Moore are jealous about her getting the peach. <laughs> jealous, I like that's really silly. Like I'm an icon, she's an ex-con. <laughs> Why would I be jealous? <laughs> no. No. Facts. Facts. Never. No. 
whatever. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where's the lie? <laughs> Let, let, no. let me ask you a question. Oh God, <laughs> have you always been good at snapping? Like, have you always been good at like talking crap? Is this like probably I, I, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now you 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 have you have beef. You have beef, and this is this is why we love you. And even sometimes when we were we love to hate you. Yeah. Like you're in there, you're yeah. in there mixing it up. And for me, that's what it's all about. I don't want the real housewives of cozy, calm. I want the yeah. real housewives <laughs> of kooky and crazy. Another person yeah. you've had beef with, beef with is Sheree, who I love. I'm happy she's yes. back. Yes, yes. I love Sheree too. Sheree is really bringing that big, big energy this season. She's bringing it, she's vulnerable, she's great this season. You guys will not be disappointed. It's, she's good. Yeah, and I'm happy we're friends again. Cause you guys have been, uh, you've duked it out. Yeah, I mean, but she's my neighbor. Like literally I can throw a stone and hit her back window. <laughs> so I need to be friends with her because I might need some brown sugar. <laughs> now you're infamous for having more manner. Yes. And uh, uh, Chateau Charest. Yes. If you had to say which crib is doper, which, which crib is doper? <laughs> Chateau Charest, yo, the finish You cannot was... hate on her house. Okay, Chateau Charest is nice. You can't, we're, it's totally different. She's got like this chateau. I have a modern build. I renovated a home working with what I had. She built a home from the ground up. So it's, you can't really compare them, but she, honestly, she did an amazing job. We cannot take that away from her. It's everything. See, I can tell you guys it's are in everything. a good place. Respect. Because if you guys weren't in a good place, that would not be the answer. No, it wouldn't be the answer. Get. <laughs> now, what about Candy? Uh, you guys got into it this season. What has happened? And you guys have had a lot. How long have you known Candy? Wow, uh, 12 years plus, but I knew her before. You know, we came up during the same era, you okay. know, in the 90s, yep. and we were the It Girls. Um, and I, I always respected her. She's a beautiful person. Yes. So um, what happened? <laughs> well, on the show, you know, Candy's a part of that, you know, freak girl crew. You know what I'm saying? She's very sex positive. And she sent some naked people to my home to invite me to a, her play, which is an amazing thing, um, Thoughts of a Colored Man. And my daughter could have been home. And then it gets worse from there. It gets worse from there. So you have to watch this show to see. Okay, I'll, trust that me. we couldn't get past okay, because good. we don't hit below the belt. Okay, you guys yeah. don't hit below the belt. No, 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 no. Speaking of hitting below the belt, uh, you've had beef in the past with, I, I got a list here, and I okay. usually don't need a list. All right, do I need a drink? A no, drink? no, 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 no. Okay. You, okay. NeNe Leakes, uh, yes. Phaedra, yes. Portia, uh, what, where, do you miss Portia on the show? I mean, you guys are like, mm. almost like the Ali Frazier <laughs> of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Epic battles. Do you miss Portia yeah. on the show this season? I definitely miss Portia in general. Her, you know, her, what she brought to the show was different. What Nene brought to the show is different. Um, and it's unique. You can't duplicate that. Uh, I think the problem with some of the girls this year, well, I can just say one, like a Which Marlo. One? You know, it's trying to be a, like a Nene, and it's like, you'll never fill those shoes, you no. know? No, you'll never fill those shoes, so just, you know, stay in your lane. <laughs> or, you know, behind your bars. But anyway, yes, I believe that, you know, for me, <laughs> For me, I just think that this season is so fresh and so new. You guys have seen the episodes. They are everything. It's yes. great energy this season. Yes, it's great energy. It's really good. If you had to road trip with one of those women, Nene, Phaedra, Portia, Portia or Marlo, and you had to road trip across the country, just Ooh. the two of you, which one would you pick? <laughs> you have to drive with one of them. <laughs> well, actually, Phaedra, because we went on a road trip before to Michigan, to Flint, together, remember? Yes. And we had an amazing time, and we bonded. It was a good cause. And we always have had, like, a good foundation of our friendship. It just went left. But, yeah, I would say Phaedra. Okay. All right, fine. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I feel like uh, let the audiences, uh, you know, sort of have you get on your side um, is your personal relationships with your, your mother, uh, your father. You've been very transparent about that. Uh, you had your, your uh, marriage to Mark, uh, mm -hmm. which we were rooting for. I was really yeah. rooting for you. I was rooting for us, too. I was really... Now, there's been rumors uh, about your divorce. Where, where are you guys at with the whole situation? There's been rumors yeah. of Mark trying to take... More manner? How can someone take more manner, more manner if it's more manner? 
Well, I don't know what he's after because they keep asking for more and more financial documents from me, and that usually points to someone wanting something else. When he answered my divorce filing, he said that the divorce, that the marital home was more manners. So that leads you to believe uh. that he wants a part of that. However, in all fairness, we don't know what he's asking for because he is tying me up in court for years. Um, and we, we just haven't gotten there yet. But we all heard him say if, you know, if we ever parted, he would just build it again, right? She could have it all. So let me have it all, <laughs> including my papers. <laughs> including my papers. 100%. <laughs> now, now, let me ask you something. Are you dating? I know it's hard to be a single parent. Are you yeah. dating? I know the yeah. men, they come knocking at the doors, the sliding well, they're into knocking. the... They're knocking at the door. Okay, anybody letting in the house? <laughs> anybody in the crib? No, never. No, no one's in no, the crib? my daughter's there, never, no. Okay, so are we dating? No. You know what? I've stuck my little baby toe in the dating pool a little bit. Uh, but definitely the DMs are blowing up. My friends are calling me, hey, you know, we want you to meet people. What kind of man would you, dates. a few dates, okay? Yeah. Have there been like a second date with these, these few dates? Yeah. You know, I want Anything someone, you want to speak of. Anything I want someone to be a friend. I'm just looking right. for a friend because I didn't have that before. I thought I had it and then it didn't end up being true at the end. Okay. Um, but I just feel like, yeah, I want someone sexy and fine. I want to be treated like the queen that I am. Okay. Yes. Your company, Kenya Moore uh, Hair Care, is expanding. Kenya Moore Hair Care. That, 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 that. Kenya <laughs> yeah. Moore Hair, hair Care. Hair Care, yes. Uh, are you excited about that? So excited. So we were already in about 2,200 doors in Sally Beauty, and now we've expanded to CVS. Good. Yes. So we're in, like, 1,500 CVS doors, and we're just growing. So I thank y'all, all of you, for supporting me. They laughed at me from the beginning and talked about water being in bottles, but I have the last laugh. Good. Congratulations. Yes. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. The Real Housewives of Atlanta <laughs> airs Sunday at 8 p.m. every single weekend.